So today I'm just going to give you a demonstration on how to create your own uh, Win30, uh, your Intune Win32 application uh, for Cisco and Inconnect Secure Mobility Client plus SBL. So SBL is start before logon module. Um, so first things first, what I've done here is actually um, downloaded the um, and extracted the um, Inconnect um, Cisco the two uh, client so you can see here it's got the full installs right there so obviously we don't need everything um, so and what I've done here is that on my site you see that I've got my core VPN which is my latest version my dart so it's just a dark stuff Gina so Gina is your actual Cisco and Inclined module blob and your umbrella so if you were to do this from scratch um, ideally you would do it on a test machine or probably your own machine and what you really want to do right there is um, actually just install it so I've actually um, uninstalled it from my machine but so as I want to showcase so I'll do this manually bit by bit so let's just install it click next I accept yes click yes click finish dot yes Next, Gina. Yeah, you can tell that. Click yes. Click finish. Click no for this one. And umbrella, which is also which is actually deployable from um, when you actually connect to it. But in this case, I'm just going to make it available. So now you'll see that all my um, Cisco and Connect um, packages are here. So what I want to do next is um, you have to run this in PowerShell. So what I'm going to do is to get the actual um, GUI size or the actual GUI of this install application. So just paste this in, run this, let it run for a bit. So once you have that, you can see that you've got all your Cisco more, um, any connect modules. So what you want to do is actually grab the GUI. So I'm just going to do that, copy this, open Notepad, paste it here, in my the PowerShell screen. And what you want is really these main ones right there. So I've actually pre-filled these in already. So um, I've got my batch file here. So my batch file, if I open it for you guys, um, you'll see this. So you'll see where it has, let me make it a bit visible so that way you can see what I'm talking about. So I've got my um, MSI, my command line you'd say. I've got my um, MSI right here. Obviously I, I've put in a quiet interface because I don't want people to see that it's getting installed, there's no restart. So obviously we restart on the next um, or whenever the user does it. Um, and because you want to have that automation where you don't want users to Manually typing a server address, I've actually created a Namtas profile here. So this Namtas profile is actually right here. So this will actually copy to this location to the Cisco um, program Cisco and connect um, profile. And I've got my preferences. So, th so this part of preferences is actually part of the Cisco. Um, so obviously, since I've just installed it, um, and I'll just grab it there for you. So if I type Cisco, um, I have to enter my credentials there. So obviously, first thing, in, in order to get your preferences sorted, you have to actually log into Cisco. Um, you have to actually go through um, the advanced options and you go to VPN. So by default, you can, um, by default, it will show up as this. So you have to actually tick these two options or whatever options you want. But for a start before logon module, you need to have the start VPN when any connect is started. So you have to um, tick on that. So once that's done, just disconnect from it and then that's all good. So you can navigate to this location and have a look. So if I navigate, navigate to this location and, oops, see daisy. Um, if I go here, um, and then if I locate for that location right there, which is global preferences, I go edit with notepad and you can see that um, it has the local access then, it has the auto connect on start, true. So that's ideally what, what you want. And obviously with this, you can pretty much reuse it anytime. Um, even for your next applications and so forth. So any upgrades you tend to go to version five, for example, you can do the same thing. So once that's done, um, and obviously you've got your Navitas profile, which is your, um, so I've actually made this 
as this way, where you have your server address, your host name, and so forth, server as an XML. Your org information, which I won't show, is actually part of um, that's actually given by your network team. So just ask you guys there, and then they'll get they'll sort you out. Preferences is what I mentioned early on, so that's all there too. Um, with the uninstall, I've actually updated myself. So with the uninstall, um, anything like this actually falls in place as part of this. So since I ran this um, PowerShell commandlet to get my GUI, um, you just have to update your uninstalls through that. So that's the most easy way. So obviously we want to ensure that we can uninstall and reinstall. So I've actually test tested this locally and it works fine to my needs. So next thing, uh, obviously you want to create the Intune Win32 package. So you run CMD as admin. Um, you see the path file and obviously you run this. So obviously I'm going to target my folder location, which is this location, and your inst or your setup file will be this one. So this is where all the information is to kick it off, and the output folder will be the same location, just to make it ideal and easier. So once that's done, um, you can see that there's an Intune any connect um, format right here, and what you do is just, so if so to actually create your package, you need to be on endpoint obviously HTTPS. Um, colon forward slash forward slash endpoint.microsoft.com so what you do is just go apps or apps add uh, obviously in this case we want a win32 app so select select your file which is this location which I'm going to show right here so it's this one click OK so for my naming convention I like to make it um, visible so that way our users or anyone in my team or anyone within my organization can see what I'm trying to do. So this will say install Cisco AnyConnect plus SBL on login. So click OK. For a publisher put Cisco for app version I don't bother there. Um, where, as this is an application that's not going to be shown on company portal um, I'm going to click next on this. Program files obviously they'll thing you really want here is your um, install commandlet so just do this and with the uninstall it's true this so copy this so install behavior system obviously we're talking about device restart behavior we're actually putting no specific actions because we don't want it to restart obviously click next um, so your operating system applies to both 32 and 64 bit your minimum operating system is 1607 doesn't matter really here Detection rules, um, obviously we have to create manual. Um, you can create a PowerShell, it's up to you really if you want to make it that complicated or that simple. Click add. Rule type is MSI. So the MSI that we're actually going to put in there is actually um, the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. So this is the one that I want to target at. Click OK. Click next. Dependencies, nothing because I don't have any daisy chains. Um, daisy, I can tell you this, daisy chains do work, um, but I think that makes it a bit complicated. And it does take a bit longer um, from what I've tested from my end, um, but by all means you can do what what you think is best. Uh, assignments I'm going to assign to my um, to my collection because I've actually um, updated my previous versions yet. So what I'm going to do is assign to my groups, and next I'm going to um, remove the notifications because I don't want my users to get massive notifications. Um, this one actually won't um, tell them to restart, it'll just um, do it afterwards, so it's all good. Um, so click next, next. So now we just gotta wait for the time to do it. So that so that, so that's all good. So now that's finished now. So that's easy. So you can tell that's all there. As mentioned in steps. So the next bit I want to do is obviously what I've done here is actually gone to my devices. So I've got devices, enroll devices, and obviously I've got my ESP or my enrollment status page for my hybrid devices because I want to make sure it kicks in. So what I've done here is I've created my own one. Um, you can do this. If you want to add it to the standard, uh, the default one, that's up to you. Um, I've done it my way because um, we're still in a mix with Azure and Hybrid. So for this, I'll put it here. And obviously, with um, so obviously you want to make sure you block um, you you have this option selected because you want those apps to be installed. 
So what you want to do is actually navigate to Cisco. So I have two, so what the previous version I had before. So this is the one that we just created just then. Click OK, select Next, you see right there. Click Review and Save. So once I save, that's all good to go. And obviously, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So over time, it'll kick in and all the devices will pick up the new um, Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. Thank you.